COVID-19 is forcing many businesses and restaurants to make some big adjustments like pick up only or even closing their doors. Kelly and Sarah McDonald went to Brookings to see how the pandemic is impacting businesses downtown. I spoke with two downtown Brookings businesses today that are taking a few extra steps to help prevent the spread of germs in their stores. Main Avenue looks a little different this week. Several stores have signs in their windows saying they're closed or making other changes in response to COVID-19. Some are still open to customers, including the Carrot Seed, which has set up a hand washing station. We got our kitchen installed in this last week it, back here on our floor, and with that came a sink. And so we are making it widely known that that is open to the public to wash their hands. That's not all. We are disinfecting regularly any touchable surfaces, door handles, pens, our barcode scanner, keyboards, our own hands, those kinds of things to make sure that we are doing our best to keep the community safe. Just up the street, Found has this sign on the door saying it's limiting the number of people in the store to four to help with social distancing. I'll lock the door if more than that come in. Hopefully people don't mind queuing up outside. Uh, it hasn't been a problem right now. Everybody really is seeming to shelter in place and to try to be cautious, it seems like, uh, which is, is great. They're also wiping down frequently touched surfaces. We are putting more things online to try to uh, encourage our shoppers to shop with us from home if they can't make it down to the store. Uh, we are not pushing deadlines on pickups and things. We just are encouraging people to stay um, in contact with us at the store. Both stores agree it's important to do their part and ask people to support all local businesses. Doing a little bit as often as we can, I think we'll go a long way in keeping everybody healthy. That's, that's about all any of us can do at the moment. You can find more information about the steps these businesses are taking under this story on Kelloland.com. Reporting in Brookings, Sarah McDonald, Kelloland News.